I love my mommy. I love you too, sweetie. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Today we are finally, finally going to make a balloon wall. There's so many different ways that you can make your balloon wall. This is my way, this is how I do it, or one of the ways that I do it. Hopefully it will be helpful and inspiring. Everything that I used, I will link in the description under the video. So if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. And without any further ado, let's go. Here is what I am about to use for this balloon wall. I have pastel looking uh, colors over here. This is a 24 inch uh, bag of balloons. So also 12 inch, five inch, and I bought lots because I am planning to make a few balloon garlands, you'll see. Uh, also, I am using my electric balloon pump. I will link everything in the description under the video. If you're interested, go ahead and check it out. I will also use my balloon tying tool, 20 pound fishing line, low heat temperature glue gun, and that's about it. Alrighty guys, so I am ready to blow all of these balloons up. I hope whatever I have here will be enough for what I'm about to do. All of the balloon count and everything else that you will need to know, I will link in the description under the video. Also you guys, I am planning to construct uh, these balloon garlands with my 12 inch balloons. Uh, I'm not gonna add any five inch balloons into my uh, base. I will fill in spaces later with them. Also, this rug, you see the last of it because I'm about to, soon, very soon, I'm just waiting on my chairs. I'm about to completely get rid of this rug and uh, renovate my filming room. All right, looks like I bought three packages of 12 inch balloons. How many in there? If I remember correctly, it was 100, 100 balloons in one bag. So I'm going for 200 for now. I'm gonna leave my third pack aside just for now. And then these 24 inch balloons, I am going to blow them up separately and I'm going to tie them separately, which my 12 inch balloons, I am blowing two balloons at the same time. What are you doing? <laughs> are you showing everybody? Yeah. All right, I'm taking my two balloons, blowing them at the same time. Just blow up. Oh no. Wrong, wrong outlet. Okay, blowing them at the same time. Excuse me. Okay, and then I am tying these two balloons together, making a cluster and pairs of balloons like that. Mixing up the colors, it doesn't matter if two colors are gonna end up with the same color, it's totally okay. So let's go, let's go, let's go. blowing my balloons for now and I am planning to go to this doorway and make my balloon wall over here all right I am starting with my fishing line tying around one of the clusters and I am building just a regular uh, balloon garland like a column garland base for my wall I need to form, I don't know how many, we'll see. 
So I just take my second cluster, putting right on top of my first one, taking my fishing line, wrapping around newly placed balloon, pushing and pulling, pushing on balloons and pulling on my fishing line, wrapping around, uh, again, different newly placed balloon, and pushing and pulling. Next cluster, doing exactly the same thing, right on top, wrapping around one of the balloons with my fishing line, pushing and pulling, around different balloon, pushing and pulling. Looking pretty good, let's put another balloon cluster, wrap, pushing, pull, wrap, pushing, pull. Do this until you're going to build the height of your balloon garland as you need for your wall or doorway. Okay, my first garland, I think it's done. Now I want to go and measure it to make sure it's a proper length. If not, I'll add a little bit more balloons. Okay, I feel like one more cluster will do the trick. And I don't know, how many do we need here? I think like four columns like this will be perfect for the size of my doorway. Well, I added two more clusters to secure your balloon garland. You hold your fishing line with your second hand. You wrap your tail around one of the balloon balloons and you're going to create this loop of fishing line. Now take this tail and feed this tail through this loop and pull. Do that a couple of times to make sure your balloon garland is secure and you're done with your first one. All right, I'm going to keep my made balloon garland here so I can measure it so I don't have to go back and forth between rooms so I can stay here and do what I need to do. Looks like I added 21 clusters on one uh, garland. We'll see if it's true, if I counted right. So let's try to do uh, 21 clusters. So two. Okay, 21, let's measure this. About right. I guess. Twenty-one. So twenty-one clusters for my doorway. Okay, you guys, you know what I noticed? Uh, not every balloon garland will have twenty-one pairs of balloons. The second one that I made, I feel like it's a little bit shorter just because not all of the balloons are the same size. So sometimes you'll get 22, uh, 23 pairs of balloons per garland. So just kind of keep an eye, kind of measure with your first one and you'll be, you'll be fine. So I'm on my fourth one right now. I just made a third one. packages of my balloons were enough for four balloon garlands. I have even a few clusters left. A few balloons did have holes in those packages and some did pop. So I would say good amount in one package and I, I made four of these balloon garlands. So not bad at all. Now, let's transport these uh, columns to my doorway and we'll figure this out together. I am ready to attach my columns over my doorway. I am using these command hooks that are half a pound right there. This pack cost me $7.99, I believe, or $7.88, well, almost $8 for this packed pack. 
I will link these, uh, the link for these from Amazon in the description under the video. I am thinking to put four, we'll see, we'll measure right now. Probably one, two, three, and four. Spread them evenly and then we'll see, we'll see. Let's do this together. So I took my first hook over here. I'm going to place this uh, sticky part that comes with the hook. So you basically you don't need to see this. You do this by instructions. Okay, now I'm ready to place this on my wall. So I'm taking my balloon garland. I want to measure first. something like this, it looks pretty good. So I'm taking my hook and I wanna place it as close to my trim as possible. So here is where my balloon garland will be. And I am pressing this hook on my wall. Right there. My husband is filming right now and he's, he's the one who's fixing all the walls and he's probably having a heart attack right now, <laughs> me placing all of these hooks. So I'm hoping these, these hooks will be non-damageable or whatever. They're not gonna damage the walls. So let's hope for that. Yeah, like this spot right here. Yeah, like that spot over there. When you were securing your balloon garlands, you were supposed to be left with a long fishing line at the end of the balloon garland. So I'm using this long tail to secure my balloon garland to this command hook. If you don't have long tails on your balloon garlands, just add an extra piece of fishing line, just tie it and you'll have a fishing line. So go take this tail, go to your command hook, Okay, so I'm taking this tail, going to my hook, hooking, hooking this fishing line on my hook and tying a knot. That's all you do, nothing too complicated. Make a few knots and you're good to go. That's it. You do the same thing with your remaining balloon garlands and I'll be back and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Now I am done blowing my extra balloons. As you can see guys here, we have a little bit of a space that we need to get rid of. So I'm taking my fishing line and I'm going to take it to my garlands and kind of tie them uh, together so they would have less space between them. tying these two garlands together and these garlands together now I need to do the same thing with to my middle uh, I put three strings throughout uh, these uh, two parts so one here 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 in the middle and one at the bottom now let's fix this I did tie everything up as you can see here uh, there's 
still a little bit like I can see through. You can definitely add as many, um, you know, columns as you want. I'm good with that. Now I am done uh, filling in or blowing extra balloons. Now I'm taking my glue, low temperature glue gun, and I am filling in spaces on this wall. You guys, you can absolutely take your fishing line and tie these big balloons to your balloon wall, but I'm choosing to go with low temperature glue gun. It works for me, so pick whatever works best for you. I am practically done with my balloon garland. My camera died on me, my battery, so I had to, you know, skip a little bit of me filling in spaces. So on this side, I added one more over here, lots of 12 inch balloons and one more 24 inch balloon uh, up top. Everything is glued with low temperature glue gun. So here, I want to go a little bit more heavier with at least 12 inch balloons to kind of cover this side a little bit more. I have a few balloons laying around. I had to open my door because I'm running out, out of light. And uh, yeah, let's finish this up. Pretty exciting. It's looking really good. Here is what I have for you guys today. This is my take on a balloon garland or balloon wall. I love how this turned out. Very, very cute. I love the colors, pastel colors. It will match anything and everything. And it's gonna be a showstopper if you're gonna choose to do this for your party. The count of all the balloons, I will list everything in the description under the video, so check it out. Um, I, I would need to count this because I have no idea. And um, what else? I used a low temperature glue gun. Quality of these balloons are nice, but some of them, a few popped, a few had holes in them. And overall, it's a very, very cute concept and very, very cute idea. Uh, it took me, I would say, like four hours to make this balloon wall uh, around there, four and a half hours. And everything is glued, as I said, on low temperature glue gun. It took me a lot of time to fill in spaces on this balloon garland so if you're planning on making a balloon garland a wall or a balloon wall give your some time some extra time before your party um you can make this one to three days in advance hopefully it's gonna stay fresh and nice for you and yeah you guys i will share a few pictures at the end of this video Alrighty guys, so let me know what you think about this video, this DIY. Was it easy enough for you guys to follow? I'm curious, uh, will you be using this method of balloon uh, wall making? Let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions, I'll leave them there as well. I'll be there to answer to the best of my ability. Also, you guys, if it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up to, to this video. And if you're new here and you love what you just saw, then don't hesitate and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos. And I will see you back very soon. Bye!